Welcome to another Rack from Feature Update. This one, as always, I'm really excited about. So this one is the Data Grid module. So Data Grid is how we create essentially spreadsheet items, and when we build them, they look something like this. So they are text fields, and they're in column and row format. And the new functionality is that we can now have overrides for our field types. So we used to be limited to just text fields. Now we can actually say password, text area, dates, select radio, etc. So this opens this feature up for a lot more interesting uh, logic. So for example, if I want everything to be a password field, I can set this to password, and now these are all password fields. Perhaps more usefully though, is that we can also now set individual field overrides. So I could scroll down to where my columns and rows are here, and under columns, I can actually say I want column one to be a password field. So if I do that, this is a password, and these are still text fields, right? Because the main field is a text field. Um, we also have default values. So I can actually go in, and I can set this to a select item right here. And I can type in some options in pipe delimited format. And now when I build this, those items become the default values for select items. And this all works, uh, also works for uh, radio and checkbox items as well. Finally, if we have just a standard text field, um, this becomes the default value of the field. So I can just say text field right here. And now sample becomes the default value. So that's the new functionality. I want to really quickly point out, though, that this isn't the only way that we create structured data in Rack Forms. Um, if you're looking for more of a survey type item, uh, we have the survey module. And this has got a really nice format where it's just a, 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 a text-based uh, entry list where each line equals a new question and response. So I could say this is the second response, third response, fourth response. And you can see here that these just populate in. And then same with questions. Here's the second, third, and fourth question, and just automatically creates this little list for us. This is nice because um, we don't actually have to be a user of Rack Forms then to essentially give you all the data that you need to create a survey. So your boss can come by, and she's got a list of questions. And um, she can just email this to you, and then you can really quickly copy and paste those in, and you've now got that form created. So that is the new data grid functionality. Uh, the big takeaway is we can now have um, uh, variable data types, uh, though that's by no means the only way that we can create structured data within rack forms. And of course, I should also say that this is just standard within rack forms. This isn't a special feature um, that you have to pay extra for. This is just part of rack forms. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us at info at rackforms.com. And thank you, as always, for uh, watching.